Hey there, and welcome to 20 Seconds for 20 Somethings. My name is Michael Sangeliano. As always, I'm here to hopefully give you some pretty okay advice. Today's topic of conversation is going to be work. I'm curious to know what these questions are going to be because not many people are working right now due to the coronavirus. So as always, without further ado, I'm going to set the timer. This is not the timer. This is a calculator. And uh, we'll get started with our first question. Who's up? Hey, Michael. Hey, Melissa. So as you mentioned, a lot of people aren't working right now, including myself. The TV studio that I work at is closed right now. So what are some ways that students like me could make money during the pandemic? So I think the first thing I would check out, because uh, I'm in the same boat, I'm unemployed right now. Um, I was actually able to apply for unemployment and I'm receiving my weekly benefits through the, uh, through the state. But if you're not eligible for that, look for little odds and ends that you can do safely, such as delivering groceries to maybe your elders. You know, you're never going to charge them out of the goodness of your heart. Like I would do the same, but they're always going to want to give you something to show their appreciation. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe it's time that you start selling things on eBay. Look through your room, see what you got. Put something up. It takes two seconds. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. DoorDash apparently charges or uh, pays you 30 bucks an hour. So look into that as well. Next question. Hi, Michael. Hello, Madeline. Uh, ooh, full name. Um, so I obviously am autoimmune deficient, so I can't work at all. But I've been trying to look for things so that when this is over, I can start looking for jobs in my field experience. So how would you suggest I go about doing that? This is going to be such a broad answer, and I hope it helps a little bit. And I feel like I'm saying the obvious when I say it, but start on the internet. Maybe look through websites such as like Indeed. I know that uh, URI, we have a website. But the other thing you can do is maybe just look at your local listings. I know that's such an old-fashioned way to do it. But, um, you know, newspapers, you never know what you can find. And hopefully if you communicate, you know, with your uh, deficiencies and how you shouldn't be out with the public, they'll understand that. Next question. What's up, Michael? Hi, Mason. I have, an, I have a phone interview on Wednesday. You got any interview tips? When you say a phone interview, is it a face-to-face -face or is it over the phone? It's just over the phone. Okay, just audio. Um, so what I would say is make sure that you are speaking very clearly and enunciating every single syllable because the phone's technology nowadays, you might not always get through as well as you want to. Um, but always put pauses. Don't rush to speak just in case you're speaking over the other person. Put a pause when you're thinking instead of saying um or like or okay, kind of like what I've been doing this whole time. It might sound like an attorney to you, but to the other person listening, it's going to sound really professional when you're not filling in with unnecessary fillers. I hope that helps a little bit. Next question. Hey, Michael. Hello, Max. So when the coronavirus is over, am I still going to have to wear a mask when I go back to my job? Uh, this is something that I can't completely answer just because I don't know your job. I don't know where you live. I don't know what your state's telling you to do. But I would just really adhere to what's being put forth by the higher ups. Um, it's important that we're keeping everyone healthy and safe. Even if you're not worried about getting sick, you could potentially be transferring this to someone else. The, the elders, your grandparents, even your parents. There's people young. There's people our age. If you have some sort of deficiency, you're at risk. So we just need to really feel it out, see where we are, and stay informed from a reliable news source. Start local and work your way up if you must. Next question. Hey, Michael. Hello, Matt. What type of job should I apply for for the summer? Uh, again, kind of like the last question, I feel like I can't give a straight answer just because there's so much uncertainty right now about what's going on in the world, what's going to be available, what positions are going to be there for you. And everyone's going to be looking for a job, which is going to make it difficult. So what you can do is focus on your own image right now. Update your social media profiles. Update your resume. Maybe write a generic cover letter that you can have prepared. So that way, when it comes time to applying for a job, you're going to stand out with your very polished uh, interview materials, and you'll have a leg up on someone else. Next question. Hi, Michael. Hey, Ashley. So when everything is back to normal and I want to find a job, what do you suggest would be like something that's laid back, but I can also be like busy? Okay, so what I would say is, again, I'm sorry I'm being so redundant, but 
go on these websites such as Handshake or Indeed. And if you want something laid back, maybe look into something like that you can work from home. I had a friend who last year was working for an accounting firm, but they were just like monitoring servers. It was kind of IT-ish, but he wasn't, you know, technologically inclined, but they taught him. And he could literally do his work while he was like sitting in classes without getting distracted or when he had free time from his phone, uh, just doing it so mobily. So something that's laid back, I'd look for something that's maybe not at a physical location, something that you can bring home with you. But that's personal preference. Next question. You're last. I am last. Gavin is last. <laughs> so uh, Michael, um, what do you think is the best part-time job? The best part-time job, this is going to sound so sappy, but this is what we call hashtag sappy, Michael. My friends have been doing this for years. Um, the best part-time job is volunteering. Volunteer for something you're passionate about. You're not going to get paid necessarily, but you're going to gain expertise. You're going to gain knowledge. You're going to make connections. So if you really want to advance yourself to make you the best version of you, look for something that you can benefit from. Look for something you can reap the rewards of. And that would be volunteering is something you're passionate about. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of 20 Seconds for 20-somethings. Thank you so much for joining me once again. If you'd like to send us a question, you can direct message us on Instagram at 20somethingstv. And we look forward to seeing you next time right here on this wonderful YouTube channel that we have going for you. Take care, everyone. Stay safe.